Hey guys, this is Blade here, and this is Knife Only Survival Mode Spec Ops of Mono Fear 3. This was actually recorded on the first day of Mono Fear 3. You guys may be wondering, why do you do it on the first day? Why not just go l lose his life and virginity on, uh, on the multiplayer? And to that I say, if you guys click this link right now, it should say failure to game is the name of the video. It's, uh, it's uh, due to some really bad internet. I was not able to play Mono Fear 3. Uh, multiplayer on the first day it came out. So to cheer myself up, I want to go play this survive mode because I was thinking, you know what? It's Spec Ops. Spec Ops is easy. And you know what? Let's hope this is easy. Let's cheer myself up. So we start off with the 5.7, a pretty cool looking pistol. You get your knife, no throwing knife, sadly. And yeah. I actually recently just unlocked the smoke grenade in multiplayer, and I know using a jammer is just more practical, but I love that smoke grenade. I mean, it's ridiculous how much I like smoke grenades over anything else. And I've never used stuns or flashes, so that's why you don't see me use them here. The stuns, the flashes in the bottom left corner. And yeah, just like going in survival mode after not being able to play online just made me kind of like laugh a little bit and grin. I'm thinking, you know what, this is easy and fun. And, uh, you know, I could have been raging on my first game of multiplayer, but I was at the decent. And, oh, I don't even want. Whatever. So, this like clearing out that little group so fast, getting those little rewards. And, yeah, right there in the trophy, whatever that's called, I can't read that right now. It's just like, it's like a nice little pick me up. So, if any of you knife only guys aren't quite hand off a multiplayer and you get in kind of nerd rage or something, just uh, go hop on this for a little bit and I guarantee you're gonna, f you're gonna feel a little bit better after just knifing some mindless AIs. Okay, and I just picked scab and now I'm bleeding, so. Yeah, I just thought all my viewers had to know what I just did. And, yeah. So, mm. in survival mode, you get one f down and you can buy more perks somehow. I'm not really so pro on this, but I know you can buy more perks eventually. But, um, yeah, you get one down and you spend your money, which you get. You can see it on the bottom left corner. And you get money for, like, doing a rampage and stuff and... Mm. <coughs> Excuse me, I just kinda I'm get I'm recovering from a really bad cough and cold. The cold's gone, but the cough whenever I start coughing, it's gonna sound like I'm dying. And ooh, look at that. Thousand dollars for rampage. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I just ate some Cadoba Mexican food? And I I can taste it in my soda. And sadly in the equipment there is no throwing knife, so that kinda limits me to just this knife. The the default knife. And speaking of default knife, um, the, j I just got this gameplay, well not gameplay, it's a nice round of search and destroy, which I'll post a link right now to it, and you guys will see, um, if you cl click that link in a couple days when I upload it, or probably tomorrow, because it's going to be the weekend, because today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, today's actually the 17th, nine days after I got this gameplay, and, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, right here is where I ba I'm about to die. Or uh, am I? I'm not sure. I just know I knife puppies. Because that's what every guy does. Knife a puppy. Knife a puppy, get a cookie. That's my motto. Okay. So, yeah. Now I'm dead. And if you kill a guy, you get back up. I have knifed the guy. And it does definitely definitely works. But um, I did not get him on my first time getting down. I got him on like, my fifth time. Because this is my first time playing it. But I played it a few times. Because you know, it's kind of fun. And um, I actually set a goal for myself every time I play, and I'll tell you guys about that at the end. Because if I tell you it now, I'll just ruin the whole thing. But um, for future videos, I'm actually gonna be doing this little series. I think I mentioned in my last video. It's gonna be called Blade Shoots. And um, in this series, I'm gonna be posting the gameplay from my shooting account. And on my shooting account, I play up on real life friends usually. And I tend to neglect my life only account, so I think this is a good series how I can still keep videos up because this is actually how I kind of stopped making videos last year. So uh, if I can like upload one, um, once a week of this of my blade shoot series, I'll, I'll at least that way I can always promise you a video once a week, and then you'll probably get two or three knife only videos throughout that week. So a total of four videos, four uploads a week. And that's going to be on a perfect week, and I doubt I'll get that too often. I'm going to say one perfect week a month. Um, yeah, you guys get the point. It's going to be probably at least two or three uploads a week, and maybe four. Okay, so 
now the guy's getting harder and getting more money for knifing them. 125 instead of 100. And I get their aim is still shit because I can just walk right at them, shank them, and take barely any damage. Yeah, so um, in the Blade Shoot series, the episode one should be up tomorrow as long as another round, uh, as long as the nice round search destroy. But I'll probably upload Blade Shoots on sun on Saturday because I want to get the nice round search up sooner. So a link to the Blade Shoot series should be up right now. And also, this is a uh, knife only Spec Ops uh, survival mode, and it's not like knife only zombies. In knife only zombies. It's uh basically a big train of zombies. You jump in and out, in and out, in and out. That's what she said. Come on, you guys know it. So um, you you go, and the only thing that happens to zombies is it gets crazier. You get more life, Juggernaut, and you get a different knife, Bowie knife, and maybe the ballistic knife if you're playing Black Ops. But you guys get get what I mean. But in survival mode, the guys just get stronger and stronger, and they shoot more and more at you, and you're probably gonna get downed eventually, like I like I did before. And, um, yeah, uh, survival mode's pretty easy until you get to that one death round, and you'll know what, it, what I mean at the end. But, yeah, there's no throwing knife. Which they should just add it in for, just for the hell of it. It would've been pretty fun. And, um, hmm. the, actually, a link to that zombie video that I had a while ago, it's my, bi the biggest video on the channel. I have over 6,000 views, like 15 likes, and I usually only get... 50 views because it's more for 3 is fresh right now and I get that in a few days and you usually only get like 2 to 3 likes so can we shoot for 5 likes on this 8 minute long video come on guys 5 likes that is 2 more than my average and I want to try and up my average up to 5 so that would be a really nice thing for you guys to do <coughs> <coughs> excuse me I'm still a little bit sick mm. and um yeah, what, what wave is this? Is this some um, wave six? That death round. So yeah, this is usually where it ends, and I didn't know what to do because I don't have a throwing knife. Can't do that to kill them. Can't use kill streaks because this is knife only. Can't use a rocket launcher because it's not knife only. So I run around and I die eventually. Rah! Yeah. So um, the only reason I would have to stop a series like this or blade shoots because I might make this a series. I might. The well, only reason I have to, to get rid of it is negative feedback, so if I don't see that, it's going to keep coming. Or unless I get bored of it. So yeah, I'm just using Blade here, and I'm out. And come on, let's shoot for 5 likes, and subscribe if you're not subscribed, because that helps my channel grow. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'm out.